What day is it? It is Christmas Eve here in the Becker household. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, we're talking about uh, gear, uh, useful gear of 2020. Useful gear! Uh, we have coronavirus in the house. Woo! Yeah, coronavirus! Yeah, that's not actually fun, but yep, my yep, oldest son is upstairs totally quarantined. Yep, he's got coronavirus, so we're quarantining over the next couple weeks, which means backpacking isn't gonna happen for a while. Oh, and today's video is sponsored by Noom. Noom, thanks for sponsoring today's Thank video. You. How's that? Christmassy? Where's my coffee? I need my coffee. I'll be back. Okay. Got my coffee. How do you like that mug? Just cause I feel like I need to. Okay, so I posted on Instagram a couple days ago that my son has coronavirus and a lot of you guys reached out, um, offered prayers and all that cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for that. He's doing great. Um, the worst symptom he had was like, 101 degree fever and that was about it. So he's day four now after being tested positive and he's feeling pretty good. So he's in quarantine. The rest of us right now are healthy. <laughs> I hope everybody thinks they have symptoms but that's just cause we're a little paranoid of uh, the virus being in the house. I just realized you guys probably aren't even seeing this till after Christmas. So <laughs> I hope you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Hope everybody, uh, got what they wanted. And uh, I hope you guys gave something to somebody because that's super important too because uh, uh, he gave his life for us, am I right? All right, so let's jump right into it. We're talking about what I think is the most useful gear that I've had uh, on trail um, for the past year. Some of the stuff I've actually had for more than a year and I've been using it for so long that I can't even remember, but man, this is just useful stuff. And I left out the backpack, the sleep system, and the shelter. So that's not even included in this video because I kind of felt like that was just super cliche to throw that in the video. And I felt like um, those are super personal items. And this is stuff that I think everybody could use. Okay, so let's start off with this first one. What I think is probably the piece of gear that I've had the longest, and I use it literally every single day, not just on backpacking. It is this right here. It is the Nightcore Tup. So a lot of you guys are familiar with Nightcore as a headlamp company because of the super popular Nightcore NU25, but they make a ton of flashlights. And when I say a ton of flashlights, I mean like more flashlights than you can possibly imagine. And I think this is probably the most useful flashlight for the biggest reason that this literally tells you how much time you have left on the battery for every lumen that you use. Here is one lumen, which is awesome, and I've got 65 hours left. This is a 1,000 lumen flashlight. Um, it goes from one lumen to 1,000. It's just nice to know exactly to the hour and minute how much time I've got left on my battery. This is cool because I like to leave this actually running at one lumen inside of my tent. Say I'm going on a little night hike. I like to do night hikes. And this is sort of like a little beacon and I can just off in the distance know exactly where my tent is. And uh, so that's really nice. Or if I bring kids, it's just nice to have this as an extra night light. And I use this so often because I pull it right out of my pocket. Sometimes I forget I actually have a headlamp with me. Um, it's got a little clip and I can connect it to my hat like this. <laughs> so that's kind of nice so I can. Whoa, look at that. This thing does get super bright. That's not even the brightest. Whoa, that's the brightest. <laughs> that is definitely the brightest. It's water resistant. I've had this thing in the rain. I've had it in the mud. I've had it in every condition imaginable. Um, the night cork top, super useful. Um, next on the list is going to be, this is the Gossamer Gear eighth inch sleeping pad. I don't use this as a sleeping pad. I use this as a bunch of stuff. I use it as like a seat if I wanna take a break so I can fold this up and nice and cushiony if I don't wanna pull out and set up my chair. Um, I use this as like underneath my sleeping pad so my sleeping pad doesn't uh, slip around inside of my tent. Plus, this will actually increase the R value of your sleeping pad. So if you've got a lower value sleeping pad like the Uber Light, uh, this will actually add some warmth. Um, and then the other thing this is good for is I like to put this down the back of <laughs> my backpack on the inside and that just sort of squares out the backpack a little bit but it stops like the stuff from pushing up against my back anything that may have sharp corners and that kind of thing so it makes 
um, hiking a lot more comfortable. Um, I can use this to fan a fire if I want to, to get the fire going. There's just so many uses out of this thing. It has definitely been one of the most useful pieces of gear for 2020. All right, we're gonna stick with the Gossamer gear theme. We're gonna go with this right here. This is the Gossamer gear. I can't have my eyes in the shot because my camera focuses on my eyes. <laughs> so this is the Gossamer gear LT5 trekking poles. Okay, why are these super useful? Uh, I've been using a trekking pole tent, so these are obviously useful for that. Um, but the other reason these things are useful is for hiking. If you have never hiked with trekking poles, I highly encourage you try to hike with trekking poles. It's gonna revolutionize hiking for you. Sometimes I hike with trekking poles, sometimes I don't. Uh, most of the time lately I've been hiking with trekking poles. And it looks like these are core candles. These are not core candles. These are actually EVA foam, which I was a little bit disappointed with, but they're still comfortable. It's not that big of a deal. I don't mind it at all. And I definitely don't mind the twist lock here. This is not that big of a deal either. A lot of guys complain uh, about twist lock trekking poles. I have not experienced them slipping. Um, I tighten them enough so they don't. And I also like having the twist lock because when I put them down inside of my backpack, the uh, latches on the, the locking system on the other ones where you kind of flip them and lock them isn't there so they don't get caught like on straps or water bottle holders and that kind of thing. These trekking poles are only five ounces each. And it's nice to uh, lose some weight out of my trekking poles. And speaking of losing weight, let's talk about today's sponsor, Noom. Almost exactly one year ago, I put out a video where I said I wanted to lose weight and I failed miserably all this year. That's why I was super excited when Noom reached out to me to sponsor this video. They actually teach you the why behind your habits so that you can change your mindset. There's no extreme diets and there is no food off limits. Uh, yes, please. So Noom uses daily lessons and learning tools to teach you about nutrition. I really need to learn about nutrition. It also teaches you about progress tracking and best practices. I have a personal goal to lose some weight and to get my eating back on habit. So here's how you get started. You head over to Noom.com to take a health survey to customize your program. It only takes like five or 10 minutes. Once you've set up an account, they'll give you recipes. They'll help you with grocery shopping. There's like a personal coach. My favorite is obviously the recipes. And if I'm gonna choose a favorite recipe, it's definitely gonna be this mushroom and pepper fajita. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Look at that. So click the link in my description to take Noom's free health evaluation. Thanks again, Noom, for sponsoring the video. All right, next on the list is the Garmin InReach Mini. This is probably the most useful piece of gear I have by far. Uh, the reason for that is because, if you don't know what this is, this is a satellite communicator. Now, I will probably never give a full review on this because I'm not super, super, super technical, and this thing does so much stuff that I don't even come close to using uh, that a review from me would be a bad thing. But I can just tell you that for what I use it for, which is mainly keeping in contact with my family, this is awesome. So I can be where there is literally no cell phone signal anywhere at all, like in the middle of the ocean, and I can still text my family. Um, it connects with satellites and it takes uh, sometimes up to 10, 15 minutes to send or receive a text, which isn't that big of a deal because at least I can stay in communication. Um, but it also has an SOS button right here, which is super, super helpful and super useful if something does go south. So I can flip this little um, door here, I can push the SOS button and then it will call emergency services and I can communicate with them and uh, they can send help if I'm ever in need of help. It also connects Bluetooth to my cell phone, which is awesome. So I can actually text like I'm texting on my phone and it sends it to this and it sends it off into the cloud. And then it also connects with my Garmin Phoenix watch, which I'm not wearing right now, but I can get the um, text messages on my watch, which is awesome. This was sort of like one of those devices that um, you know my family and I agreed that if I was gonna be backpacking as often as I do, I was definitely gonna need something like this to uh, just peace of mind, keeping in communication and uh, everybody can feel a lot safer. All right, and this last piece of gear totally surprised me. I did not expect this piece of gear to be so useful and so awesome. It is this right here. It is the Appalachian Gear Company Parka. So I've used a ton of uh, base layers and mid layers and loved many of them, but when I got this, I was absolutely blown away with this. It is 100% alpaca fur, <laughs> which seems kind of weird, but it's so comfortable and it's not at all itchy. It's kind of similar to wool, so it dries really quickly. Um, it keeps you warm when it's cool. Uh, it keeps you cool when it's warm. 
and it's got a hood on it, which is awesome. I love having the hood because a lot of times I wear a hat like this and I don't have like a, a brim going on the back. So if it's sunny and I, I'm you know trying to avoid getting all burnt, I can throw this on, throw my hood up. And this thing is just super like cozy. It just is awesome. So the Appalachian Gear Company Parka, you guys knocked this one out of the park. Great job. All right, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Also hit the bell notification because then you'll get notified of all the videos. I will put my Instagram right here. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have an awesome, amazing new year and I will see you next year. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh.